Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this car tech video. Uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the iCars of POR version 2.0 which is this one here and the POR2 kit. Uh, first of all both of these kits are available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com I'm going to put a link to these kits in the description below this video. So the reason for making this video is because we do get a lot of questions from people asking well what is the difference between the iCars of POR2 and the version 2.0 and basically in a nutshell if I was to give you my most simple answer is that this one here the version 2.0 kit is the newer version of the POR2 kit not only that but this kit does have a few additional features as well um, the features that it will cover over and above this kit is um, the ability to do DPF regeneration um, it does have a software on here which does have DPF but it's really not that good. The software all around on this kit is a lot better and this kit just works whereas this kit you might get some connection problems or connection failures. Uh, so this kit will allow you to do DPF regeneration on applicable Porsche cars. Uh, I appreciate that not all Porsche cars will have DPF systems. Um, battery BMS or battery management system so um, a lot of the newer cars which have the start stop batteries the AGM batteries installed whenever you put a new battery in you need to register that battery to that car so you can do that with this kit you can't do it with this kit um, this kit um, electronic park and brake this does have it oil reset this does have it um, ETC this does have it steering angle sensor this does have it two more features which doesn't appear that this tool has but it actually does uh, what I need to do is I need to run a quick update on this tool and it will add two more features it will add injector coding so that will appear there this kit won't have that and also the ABS brake bleeding this kit uh, this kit won't have that function so as I say ABS brake bleeding and injector coding once I've updated this tool here will add those two functions um, updates are free for life on both of these tools um, so which one should you go for well it's um, it's entirely up to yourself you know say for example if you've got a 911 and um, say let's say a 2006 911 and you just want to diagnose an airbag light and you want a tool which will also um, perhaps do a service reset light then you know this one should be fine for your needs however at the moment you know on certainly on the uh, the diagnostic world website these two kits are exactly the same price and I suspect what will happen is that when these are all sold out because it's an older version these will be removed from the website and they'll only focus on this particular kit here so um, if it was down to me and if it was my money I would go for this one the version 2.0 kit as I say it's the same price um, but you're gonna get more functionality better software and it's just an all-around better tool so that is in a nutshell what I believe to be the differences well they are the differences in fact um, between the POR2 and the POR version 2.0 kit now remember you can pick up both of these tools at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com I'm going to put a link to both of these kits in the description below this video and uh, if you have any further questions on either of these kits then by all means um, contact Diagnostic World and they will do their best to get back to you and help you out thanks for watching this car tech video I hope it helps and I'll see you soon